For the past four years, California has been in a nasty drought. In fact, the worst it's seen in a long time. Just how screwed is California? Pretty, pretty epic screwed. Well, no, we're all screwed. Hey guys, Julia here for D News. The Golden State is in the middle of an exceptional drought, the highest category a drought can get. It's the worst drought since record keeping began over a hundred years ago, and water is in short supply. The state's main reservoirs are at an average of only 40% capacity. Certain reports say the state has only a year's supply of water left in those reservoirs, and groundwater isn't a reliable option. In a normal year, 40% of the state's drinking water comes from such underground sources, but for too long it's been pumping out more water than can be put back in, which is a big problem, like billions of dollars big. In the middle of the last century, overpumping sank part of California's Central Valley 28 feet and caused over a billion dollars worth of damage. But it's not just tech bros and YouTubers who suffer. If the drought continues, you might have to say goodbye to some of your favorite foods. California is called the breadbasket of the world. It's the world's fifth largest supplier of food and agriculture commodities. Here in the US, Central Valley farms produce up to half of our fruits, nuts, and vegetables, some almost exclusively. It produces 70% of America's greens, and some crops like almonds, artichokes, olives, pistachios, pomegranates, raisins, and walnuts aren't grown anywhere else in the US. Unfortunately, feeding the whole country and a lot of the world leaves the state high and dry. It takes a lot of water to make some of the most popular foods. According to one study published in Hydrology and Earth System Sciences, one walnut takes five gallons of water to grow, one head of broccoli takes nearly five and a half gallons, a single strawberry uses half a gallon of water to grow. According to the EPA, it could take 1,800 gallons of water for a single pound of beef. All of this growing uses up 85% of California's water. But wait, there's more. It's not just California. The US alone accounts for half of all the world's corn exports, 40% of soybean, and 30% of wheat. And where are most of these crops grown? Well, the Midwest and the Great Plains. These amber waves of grain might turn into brown deserts of dust. A recent study published in the journal Science Advances found that thanks to climate change, America could find herself in a mega drought. Remember learning about the Dust Bowl and how terrible that was? Well, there's a good chance a drought that could last three times as long as in America's future. Researchers looked at climate history taken from tree rings and used 17 computer climate models to predict soil moisture over the next 100 years. They estimate there's an 80% chance that the plains and southwest will see a disastrous drought between 2050 and 2100. Well, that's a ways off. California has its fingers crossed. If it rains a decent amount in the next few years, unlike this recent winter, everything might be okay. If not, well, cities might try recycling water more or building desalination plants. But for now, enjoy your food and wait for rain. So, speaking of water, check out this video over at TestTube to learn if water is considered a human right. Every year, nearly a million people die from waterborne diseases from unsafe water. At the same time, large parts of the world are experiencing unprecedented drought, making clean water a scarce resource. So is water a human right, and should it be available to all? While you're at it, go subscribe to TestTube. They've got great content, asking all sorts of big questions. They've got new episodes every day. All right, guys, do you think Californians should cut back on water? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. We've got new episodes every day of the week.